What's good, man? It's Kid K.O., man. Before we get into this, hit that like, hit that subscribe button. Y'all know what to do. So, man, yesterday in Chicago, man, another tragic night as always, man. These two guys right here, they both lost their life last night, man. Unfortunately, man. And to the left, that's 44-year-old Casper. And to the right, it's 33-year-old Beezy, man. And this is what I read up on. So... I don't know if it's true, so I'm going to just give y'all what I read. It's all alleged, though. They saying that BZ to the right was in a uh, lounge on 71st of King Drive where he's supposed to have been touching women without their consent inside the lounge. And I guess when they went to the parking lot, Casper supposedly approached BZ about touching the women without their consent inside the lounge. Gunfire exchanged from both parties, and which left Casper dead on arrival, man, on the scene. Beasy was able to get in his car and flee the scene, but he didn't make it too far. He made it to like 55th and Wentworth where he crashed and I guess from bleeding out while he was driving, man. Big loss on both ends, man. They said that Casper, he was a successful businessman, been in business a long time. He got an Instagram page where, you know, all his design cars that he customized, he got about 55,000 followers on that, man. And uh, I don't really know too much about BZ, man. But, you know, Casper, he got a little paper trail of the things that he's done over the time. You know what I'm saying? And he's getting a whole lot of love, man. He all over my Facebook timeline. So, you know, like a lot of people showing him a lot of love, man. So, you know, he been out here and he been doing good, you know, doing right by the universe, man. Because it's a lot of people saying a lot of positive things about him, man. And... It's it's a it's it's a it's a lose lose situation on both ends, man. You know, like if if this is true though, Casper salutes to Casper for trying to approach him and holler at him about touching the women without their consent, man. You know, he probably could have gave him a little bit of game, man. He a little bit older than him. He got him by like ten years, so he probably was trying to give him a little bit of game, or I don't know if he came off aggressive or what, but you know. The whole situation probably could have been handled a whole di lot, totally different way. But when you mix liquor with emotions and egos, this is what you get sometimes, man. And it's sad, bro. Like, the city, man, the city is done, bro. Chicago is done, bro. The summer is going to get worse. Man, it's, it's, it's done, bro. And I like to speak life into my city. I like to speak to put the positivity in the air, man, but... It's seeming like it's going to be all the people who want the good energy and the positivity going to have to stand on this side. And the people who want the BS and the gunplay and the smoke going to have to go on that side, bro. We're going to have to separate it, you know, because we're going to enjoy ourselves. The people who want the money and want to chill and want to live our life, bro, we're going to enjoy ourselves, bro. The people who want the BS and the and the drama, bro, going to have to stay on their side and do what they do with the people who think with like man, the people who think like them, you know. But it's just a messed up situation all the way around, man. You know, you just got to stay to yourself, check a bag, and do you nowadays, man. I don't even recommend it going out in the city no more, bro, because it's just not the same no more. As much as we want it to be. I used to love hanging on the blocks and kicking it with my people. I used to love going to go hit a club or a bar and go politic. It's, it's just different now, bro. Everybody got guns. Everybody mad. Everybody high-headed. And, 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 and people, we thinking this the way to go. When really this ain't the way to go, bro. As adult, as grown, especially as black men, bro, like our kind is in danger. We are in dangerous species right now, bro. We are in danger, bro. They want us dead, bro. We are doing their job. And it's sad, bro. I'm pretty sure both parties had kids. And all this over because somebody tried to stand up for the women. As he should, though. He probably got daughters. He probably, I'm pretty sure he probably got sisters. You know he got a mother. And it's just like, I'm not taking no sides on this, man, because I, I went there, I don't know what exactly initially happened. But, man, prayers up for my city, man. You know? And I send my condolences to both of these brothers. Hopefully it don't be no more conflict behind this situation. And y'all know with my channel, like I said, I like to be diverse and talk about other things other than entertainers and rappers because... Regular people lives matter too. Regular people like us and people that's on here listening. You know, like our lives matter too, man. So I want to be that voice and bring 
attend, bring light to this situation, man. You know, put the guns down, bro. You know, it, it's okay. To, it's okay to have a conversation, even if even if a, even if it's a little intense conversation. You know how us men get we aggressive, bro. So even if it's a tense conversation, bro, you, we, it's okay to talk it out, argue it out, however you got to do it, bro. But we ain't always got to shoot it out, bro. That ain't always the answer, man. Rest in peace to Casper and rest in peace to Beezy, man. Tragic night in Chicago, man. And hopefully, like I said, man, hopefully we can have a good summer this summer, man. Hopefully it don't get no worse, man. But yeah, man. Rest in peace to these brothers. It's Kid KO. Leave like, leave comments in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think about this situation, man. Yeah, yeah.